Hey everyone, today I'm diving into one of the most shocking stories coming out of Equatorial Guinea. It's about Baltazar Ngonga, the man in charge of fighting corruption, but who turns out to be caught up in a scandal that's rocking the nation. Baltazar Ngonga is the Director General of the National Financial Investigation Agency. His job? Rooting out corruption. But instead, he's found himself at the heart of a scandal involving over 400 videos. These videos show him in compromising situations, not just with anyone, but with the wives of powerful politicians, including his cousin, the president's sister, and even his sister-in-law. Last week, these videos leaked, igniting a massive government crackdown. The government claims it's about protecting the nation's image, but the reality is much darker. Security cameras are now being installed in government offices, and security measures have been tightened. But can we really trust these measures when the very people enforcing them are part of the problem? President Teodoro Obiang, who's been in power for 45 years, has suspended those implicated in the videos. But this scandal raises serious concerns about misconduct and abuse of power. It's not just about inappropriate behavior, it's about how deep corruption runs within the government. In response to the scandal, the government has also restricted WhatsApp. Citizens can no longer download or share multimedia content via mobile data, which has sparked public outrage. Imagine relying on WhatsApp for daily communication only to find it severely limited. This isn't just an inconvenience, it's a blatant attempt to control the flow of information. Vice President Teddy Nguema's announcement of installing surveillance cameras has only added fuel to the fire. People are worried about their privacy and the lack of transparency about these new measures. It's a classic case of power being used to suppress dissent and control the narrative. This scandal doesn't just highlight personal misconduct, it brings to light a culture of impunity and exploitation. Ngonga, who was supposed to be fighting corruption, is now part of the very system he was meant to dismantle. This is why the world struggles to change. When we put corrupt individuals in charge of fighting corruption, we're only fueling the problem. The international community is keeping a close eye on this situation. There are calls for an independent investigation, but will it happen? Or will this just be another case of sweeping corruption under the rug? Equatorial Guinea's reputation is already tarnished by a poor human rights record and lack of transparency. This scandal only adds to the growing list of issues. It's a stark reminder that true change requires accountability at every level. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay informed, stay engaged and let's push for a world where integrity matters. Until next time.